All right, guys. Well, it's a fairly pleasant 75 degree day. Humidity is down finally on the final day of August 2020 on Tuesday, August 31st. And uh, I'm heading to buy my cover crops for my overwintering garden. And, and I just need to do an amplification and clarification. You know, so the past two days, I guess two nights, I've put on these little like minute long videos about our esteemed uh, what, what do you call what do you call this guy? Uh, I have a hard time calling him uh, President Joe Biden. And um, so since I have put out these two videos on you know talking about what a demented, deluded old fart, uh, you know, who the fuck is this cyborg? I mean, who is this dude? You know, I, I admit, I, I mean, since I paid so little attention to the election and everything else, I mean, Joe Biden just, he doesn't enter my consciousness. Uh, Joe Biden is a, he's essentially a non-entity to me, and uh, so I'm just now, I guess, uh, you know, actually looking at this guy, and I have decided he is not a human, and you know, he's obviously, you know, like Mike Pence. Uh, I, I've known that Mike Pence is a cyborg, but I didn't realize until just the past few days that Joe Biden is a cyborg, as Andy the Gardener says, well, at least he's not a human, which is a step in the right direction. Uh, that's a good step for American politics, not having a human uh, as president. So once again, Andy the Gardener is right. But, uh, but, but I guess there has been some ridiculous misimpression because Hambone Little Tail, or anybody else, I guess, pointing out that Joe Biden is uh, is is just this embarrassing you, you know he he is beyond a puppet he is beyond a, a, a he's just I, I mean he leaves me speechless you know if fucking Joe Biden you know if uh, if I was hiring an insurance agent and uh, and I go to buy an insurance policy and Joe Biden is the one in the you know in the office there's no fucking way that uh, he would instill enough confidence in me to, to to buy a fucking insurance policy you know uh, the guy is just he is just just a nothing he is he he just doesn't exist as far as I'm concerned so anyway I have uh, I put up these two videos and about uh, about Biden you know pointing out that I don't care much for Joe Biden and so uh, here come the comments that uh, you, you know because I am anti Joe Biden, that I am pro Donald Trump. You know, one guy coming on here uh, talking about, uh, you know, it's the same thing with the Hillary thing last time around. If you are, if you were uh, anti Hillary, as I was, you were pro Trump. And now if you are anti Joe Biden, you are pro Donald Trump. Now, I can understand it from people, from clueless fucking morons who don't know my channel. I just have to get a phone number off of here. All right, the phone number for these piles of rock, 607-227-7944. All right. 227-7944. Anyway, uh, I've been meaning to get this phone number. Uh, 
so I can buy some of these planet eating rocks. So anyway, so I get this one comment, of course, you know that that I am just a sour grapes trump tard. The reason I, you know, from some Biden, uh, some limp dick Biden supporter, he left several comments, never heard of this clueless motherfucking moron, you know, talking about that, uh, that I just uh, sour grapes, you know, that uh, Joe Biden beat uh, Donald Trump. And I, I want to, uh, before I get to, to Teresa Shields, uh, just one more time, guys, I need to state unequivocally for the record, Joe Biden did not get more votes than Donald Trump. Okay. Donald Trump got more anti-votes than Joe Biden got votes. Joe Biden did not win the 2020 election. I fully understand Joe Biden did not win the election. Donald Trump lost the election. Anybody who does not understand the difference between uh, between that, uh, I, I'm sorry, you're so fucking clueless that uh, I don't, uh, you know, I have nothing but pity. My, my level of pity for you is right up there with my level of pity for fucking Joe Biden. And uh, as long as I am uh, taking pity on people, here we go again. And I hope this is the last time I'm going to say this. You know, I, I, I went through this how many times with Hillary and Trump? Okay. Teresa and anybody else misunderstanding the thinking for one fucking second that me posting these videos and pointing out and agreeing with Teresa and anyone else with two brain cells that Joe Biden is a corporate whore. Joe Biden is a, what I would consider a moderate Republican. Okay, he's about on the same place on the political spectrum as Ronald Reagan was. Uh, if this were the 1980s, uh, Joe Biden and Ronald Reagan would be on the same political spectrum. All right, I understand that Joe Biden is a pawn of the global corporatocracy. They have their man in the White House. No shit, Sherlock. Joe Biden is just an extension of, you know, it started with Bill Clinton. He's just another extension. Uh, of Bill and Hillary and uh, for and Barack Obama, it's just the you, you know it's just if you like the politics of Bill Clinton and Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, you'll like Joe Biden, I guess. There, there's no fucking difference, it, it, you know, as far as the politics go. And uh, it, it, you know, it's so I I mean I despise Joe Biden. To the same level, I despise Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, and Bill Clinton. Okay, uh, but but how Teresa Shields, or someone as smart as you, Teresa, or anybody else, doing this fucking little knee jerk uh, reaction because Hambone uh, suddenly doesn't like Joe Biden? I have never liked Joe Biden. Okay, I despised him uh, when when uh, he was in the Obama administration. I despised him then. I despise him now. But uh, to sit there and act like uh, because uh, I'm admitting what a fucking demented, clueless old fart is uh, is that uh, that I think that Donald Trump. Donald fucking Trump was uh, was preferable over Joe Biden, as I uh, as I 
told Teresa uh, last night, you, you know, when, when Donald Trump is your fucking bar, you know, when a pile of pig shit is the bar you're trying to top, if you're a pile of horse shit, you're going to trump a pile of pig shit. You know, Joe Biden just doesn't stink quite as bad as Donald Trump. Joe Biden is a fucking pile of horse shit compared to Donald Trump, who is a pile of pig shit. You know, it's which pile of shit uh, stinks less than the other pile of shit. We have two stinking piles of shit. But if I'm going to, if, if, if my choice is uh, step in a pile of pig shit or step in a pile of horse shit, I'm going to take the pile of horse shit over the pile of pig shit. You know, uh, Donald Trump was, is, and will probably be again uh, a direct threat. I mean, just individually, uh, you know, in, in his person, he is a direct and immediate threat to not only the U.S. Constitution, but to, much more importantly, to all life on this planet. Okay? Uh, Joe Biden being a corporate shill is also a, a direct threat to this planet, but compared to Donald Trump. Okay. Comparing a pile of horse shit to the pile of pig shit compared to Donald Trump. One more time, I said it for how many years about Barack Obama, said it about Hillary Clinton, and the same is true. <clears throat> Joe Biden is a third degree sunburn against the planet to the extent that he carries the banner for the global corporatocracy. Obviously, Joe Biden is a threat to life on this planet, but uh, he is a third degree sunburn, and Donald Trump is a face-peeling uh, radiation nuclear attack burn. To sit here, anybody uh, try, you know, making the fucking claim, I mean, you know, that there is no fucking difference between Donald Trump uh, and uh, and. and Joe Biden, I mean, it, 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 it shows a level, not of just naivete, it, it, it shows a level of, of willful, braying ignorance. And I'm talking from an environmental standpoint. That's the only, I am a one-issue non-voter. Uh, since every fucking politician is a threat to the environment and to this planet, I don't vote for politicians. Uh, but looking at the environmental record, uh, putting uh, Joe Biden's planet-eating record up to, uh, you know, up to Donald Trump's, uh, it, it's like putting pitting Sancho Panza against a fucking pit bull. Oh, anybody, I mean, I, I'm embarrassed for you, Teresa, if, you're, if, this, if this is what you're saying. Uh, anybody uh, claiming that I'm, I'm talking Joe Biden, the individual human, uh, is the same level of threat against this planet that Donald Trump is, you, you're, you, I, I have nothing but pity for you if you honestly believe such a fucking, a, a patently absurd statement. And with this, oh, okay, I see we, that, uh, it looks like, uh, Habitat for Humanity has a mask required sign on their door again. I am walking in right past the mask required sign, as I'm sure Teresa would be doing with me. All right, that last woman put on her mask. Okay, here goes the mask. Let's see. 
All right, the dude walking out clearly is not a masked Nazi, so he... Did they say anything about a mask to you in here? No. No, they didn't make you put on a mask? No. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure, because I don't put on masks. It's a crazy world. It is a crazy world these days. All right. I guess it's safe to walk inside uh, Habitat for Humanity. It is a crazy world these days. My guys.